In this video, I'm going to explain to you the difference between mathematics literacy and mathematics. I get it, I get it, alive enough to know why things get around. You're trying to play me, but I'm cutting it down. I'm making my stand like the tree roots. Asking my name, I'll be I'm crude. I'm an apple on the tree, the Adam and Eve. We're planning on my seeds to make a new remake. I know. Hello, everybody, and welcome to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you the difference between mathematics literacy and mathematics. So, most of the times I refer to math literacy as math lit or imlet and uh, mathematics we usually refer to uh, mathematics as pure math so, so you're probably wondering why am i making this video because mainly in grade 10 this is where you get a bunch of subjects that you're going to take right through up to grade 12 okay so you're going to have the pure maths um, in grade 10 you're going to have the pure maths in grade 11 you're going to have the pure math in grade 12 um, and in general, all of the subjects that you have in grade 10, okay, most of the times you're going to take it through to grade 12, okay? So that's why it's so important that you have to make that decision, um, that you should take that decision seriously. Because in grade 10, you're going to apply all the concepts that you've learned from, let's say, grade or R, um, grade 1. Um, up until grade 9 you're going to apply in grade 10 math so whether it's for pure maths or whether it's for math literacy so it's it's not everything but it's most of the things that you've learned all of those nine school uh, years so i made a few notes here so i'll be looking down because i don't want to give you a bunch of you know i want to make this video one hour long but uh so certain schools will i think this is what i've heard the last time that certain schools they will look at your grade 9 math mark at the end of the year and um, or the last two quarters of your grade 9 school um, year and then they will say okay you know what grade 10 i don't we don't think pure maths is for you and then they will give that student or that learner they will give that learner maths literacy is that illegal i'm not sure okay so you will have to go check that out but i think that's there's so many reasons why certain principals like school principals are doing it and certain schools are doing it and i did make a video in in connection with that okay you can just check in the description below or just check out this video here Mm, but I'm really keen to that because you never know what can happen in the next few years. Maybe that that learner had a bad teacher, you know, grade 8, grade 9 and the basics is not so good. And now grade 10, he or she is getting a very good math teacher, you know, qualified, very good at, um, you know, uh, explaining and all of those things. So go find out if that's actually legal because I'm really, I'm... 80% sure that that's not legal um, so now <clears throat> the thing about choosing between math literacy when it comes to grade 10 you know grade 10 pure maths or should you go math literacy I say in grade 10 if you have that opportunity to pick that subject you know pure maths take it because at the end of the day it's going to open many doors for you so you need to taste if pure maths is for you you know grade 10 is a very good opportunity but let's say for instance you know for a fact that you're not going to touch maths again after grade you know never touch it again after um, your school year then um, go for the math literacy because when it comes to so this is what I've been telling you know especially in my book okay, that pure math is going to open many doors for you say for instance you're grade 10 you do your maths you do you pick maths lit but grade 11 or grade 12 or let's say for instance the beginning of grade 11 you go to your third or your fourth or your tenth 
a career expo at one of the universities and you find out okay um, actually want to do engineering or you want to go into the science field then you find out okay you actually need pure maths and physics because you know those two subjects go hand in hand you most of the schools offer maths lit with uh, physics you know it's a tricky combination but uh, most are like physics then you need a lot uh, you need the pure maths so pure maths uh, so let's even you go you know do your fourth or your 10th career ex exhibition at one of the universities you find out that you need actually pure maths so that's why it is important that I think you should rather taste that you should make you should be cautious when you go for math lit and also you need to really sit down you know attend as many career exhibitions now already if you're in grade 9 uh, grade 8 grade 7 or find out from certain people what subjects you need if you're gonna let's say for instance you know you're never gonna do pure maths again or uh, you're not gonna need it for whatever you're gonna study or whatever you're gonna do after your grade 12 year then you might as well go for uh, maths literacy uh, but in general maths pure maths is gonna open many doors for you so if you have pure maths then you can do anything in the science field or you can even go study your drama um, I don't think it's one of the requirements when you get to, into university if you're gonna do a, a bachelor's degree in drama or arts or something like that um, yeah so um, that's the most important thing and then remember that if you let's say it's easy to switch from let's say you do grade 10 pure maths grade 11 pure maths and then those two years you know you know that you really struggle and the marks didn't look that good so what do you so obviously the next option will be to um, switch over to grade 12 maths literacy it's easy to catch up with grade 12 math literacy grade 11 stuff so most of the things they do in grade 11 the syllabus oh this will uh, most of the things they do in grade 11 syllabus is applied in grade 12 syllabus and and obviously i'm not saying this is apply this thing that i'm this um concept that i'm about to or this statement but that i'm that i'm about to make is true and that it's for everybody but I've noticed that if you did grade for, from some students or most of the students, if they did grade 10 and 11 pure maths and when they switch over to grade in grade 12, they switch over to maths literacy, they grasp certain concepts really quickly. Uh, but if you're going to do grade 10 maths lit and, and uh, grade 11 maths lit and you, and you figure out, oh, I actually want to do engineering, that means I need pure maths. Uh, this is now obviously all the engineering in the maths, you know, uh, cell engineering, chemistry, chemical engineering. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure why that only two that always come uh, to mind. But those, if you're going to go into that field, let's say for instance you're starting grade 12, that you want to go into that field, it's going to be really challenging to catch up. I mean, grade 10 and 11. And remember, in grade 12, you only have about five six school months so you don't have actually a lot of time to catch up it's going to be really really challenging i know most of the students who, who did that in the past they most of them didn't succeed uh that well or you know made, some of them didn't even make it so have a taste in grade 10 the pure math okay so if you wanna if you're not sure what you're about to do after or what you're going to do after grade 12 keep the pure maths okay uh, because it is this change from a math pure maths to maths lit when it gets to grade 12 it's much easier but going from maths lit in grade 11 to pure maths in grade 12 it's really really challenging um, and also the important thing is uh, to remember that having maths lit is not gonna make you less cooler than the guy 
with a dude that have pure maths okay so don't feel that you're actually dumb win or that you um yeah circle of influence that's in that's that shouldn't be a problem for you if you all your six other friends have pure math does it that doesn't mean that you should also go for pure maths or that the other way around if you have six other friends that have maths lit that you should also do maths lit so that's my thoughts on math literacy versus pure maths and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have any comments uh, excuse me any questions drop it in the comment box below and uh, if you have any videos thoughts video thoughts that i that you think that i should do in the future do that as well and don't forget to hit that like button